It's a Chuck Pearson gameplay. And two, oh, whoa, four. Hit it. Hey guys, it's Chill IP, and with the Legacy Series 1 cards already out of the way, Series 2 came through starting off with a pink diamond mark price, and along with that card came plenty of other cards, including this 94 overall Chuck Pearson, I believe it's pronounced Pearson, not Person. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This card is an Evo, starts off as an Amethyst. He evolves into a Diamond. I actually was able to pull his Amethyst. I don't have the footage, but I promise you I did pull it from a pack. And I decided, hey, since he's already here, why not grind it out and uh, evolve him so I can sell him back? You can easily evolve this card within a day. It's requirements. There's the annoying game requirements, but it's only 50. That's 50 triple threat games you can knock out. Not the most terrible thing you can do compared to some other cards requiring like, oh, 100 plus games, even way more than 100 plus games. So yeah, this is one of the easier Evos to a diamond at least in the game right now. Upon evolution, this card gains two Hall of Fame badges, which are pretty nice. So let's just go ahead into the details of this card right now. Let's start off with the stats. He's six foot eight, very nice at that position. All right, let's head to the attributes. A bunch of stuff upgraded upon evolution. 87 driving layup, 84 post fade, 83 post moves. You can do some things in the post with him. 92 draw foul. Now, his three point is at a 97. I do have a shoe on him, so that's going from 94 to 97. But with or without the shoe, with the Kerr included, that goes up to a 99 three. So it's the same no matter what, with or without the shoe. 85 driving dunk, he can slash two. The reason why I have the shoe on 81 ball handle. On a pawn upgrade, he gets it up to a 78. The three gives it to an 81. Kerr plus five gets it to 86. You know the rest. 82 pass IQ, 74 pass accuracy, 83 perimeter defense, not bad. 62 offensive rebound, 82 defensive rebound, 79 speed, 74 speed with ball. Now I know he's a small forward, power forward, so traditionally his position will be much slower. But as the game goes on, expect faster players around his position. So this card is very good for now, I think. However, later in the game, likely not much. 79 acceleration, 82 vertical, 84 strength, 95 stamina, 85 hustle, 82 lateral quickness. We love to see that. 82 pass perception, 80 defensive consistency, 95 offensive consistency. Help defense IQ is at an 84. Shot IQ, 96. All in all, that's pretty good for a diamond card, I think. The stats that you need in this game are definitely very high in this card. Let's go ahead and check out the badges. Like I said, he gets two Hall of Fame badges upon upgrade, and those badges happen to be Catch and Shoot and Corner Specialist. Two very good shooting badges in this game. He also has 17 gold badges, and these gold badges are Difficult Shots, Pick and Popper, Acrobat, Relentless Finisher, Hookback Boss, Lob City Finisher, Contact Finisher, Cross Key Scorer, Pro Touch, Clutch Shooter, Flexible release, green machine, quick draw, slippery off ball, steady shooter, tireless shooter, volume shooter, a whole lot of shooting badges right here. He has the quick draw, he has that flexible release, he has green machine. This card with the 99 three pointer is going to get in game will be making shots for sure. This is the team we will be running him in. We are back on my account and I'm just ready to get this thing started. Let's see how this diamond chuck pearson plays okay this guy right here marbury at the one bridgman at the two griffin at the three both diamond evo cards that 80 at the four better than the diamond actually stat wise at least and then he has ruby Wilt at the five all right let's begin he brings up will chamberlain all the way out and then daryl griffith is really just preventing me from Getting Chuck Pearson the ball. I have no idea why it's gonna be so hard like that. Nope, give me the board. Give me the board. Hey, right, shooting foul. You gotta love it. Come on, Chuck. Oh. Oh. That was easy. Hey, we got to the paint like that. Yo, take this. That should be a green, but hey, hey we'll take any sort of jumper we can. Give me the board. Give me the board. Come on. Chuck Pearson again to the paint. And there he goes. He has eight points. Give me that A. Take the contact. Make just make everything, Chuck Pearson. TS10. 
Dude, he just pushed him out of the way so easily. He has 12 points. There we go with the pump fake, and now we get our bank. Pearson, hey. Serge Ibaka was right there. Oh, wait. Catch nope. and shoot on Hall of Fame. That's Clamps right there. John Stockton, that's Clamps. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Wide open Jamal Crawford, green. All right, that's how we're going to start off this quarter. What was this whole entire thing? I'm pretty sure I had an easy... That's well... Stop bringing in small people into the game, man. Guard your centers, dude. Come on. Head there. Pearson. There we go. He has 16 points. Kawhi? No way. Come on, dude. Take that three. That should be in. Nope. Kidding. That that's of course that doesn't go in. Hit that. Hey, there we go. One T two. Two K. That's a simple pass. Okay, here we go. Oh, down the lane for check. Just. Okay, go for a layup. You do you. Twenty points. All right, bad release. Here we go. I don't understand. We have position. All right, there we go. He fouls us. I swear, if he makes this with... Okay, he didn't make it with Joel Embiid. We're down five. Um, I really think this guy knows what I'm trying to do, so... That defense, plus with him putting Kawhi on, I'm pretty sure Kawhi will have to rest, so... We might have a better time with the next... Yeah, with whoever is starting. I forgot who he has starting, but um, we'll just see. All right, so I am correct. He did remove him, all right. Give me that. There we go. That's how we're starting the quarter right there. Good block and no board. That's okay. JR is playing all the defense he can. If we can grab rebounds, this game would be so much fair. Hit that. Hey. Oh, no. Not lag right now. Oh, my God. This is so... Wow. Corner, pocket, green, there we go, okay. It's a nine point game. Come on, play, just play defense. You need to play great defense. No, all right, contested. Wow. Oh, uh, you gotta love this game, man. All right, good stuff, Ibaka. Our board, here we go. Catch and shoot, he has catch and shoot on Hall of Fame. There we go, now we're down six. No. All right. Our ball. Here we go. Catch and shooting Hall of Fame, man. Catch and shooting Hall of Fame. Down three now. Three straight threes for Chuck. Things you love to see. Things you love to see. JR wide open, making his jumpers. Three point game. Head to the paint, Chuck. There we go. All right. Three point game again. Dude, Chuck went off this quarter. Three seconds. Come on, two. No, all right, too late for that. Okay, we were down above 10. We were down over 10, and we brought that back up to a three-point game. All thanks to help with Chuck Pearson hitting all those threes. Like, we got to come back to complete. Oh, my goodness. We saw that play a mile away, and he just dunks on all my players. Awesome. Okay, come on. All right, good, good. Another foul right there. Free throw number two. Okay. No. Okay, great block, Amari. Put that green. Okay, thank you, Amari. Nope. Give me that. Okay. Thank you, Amari, again. Whoo! Kawhi, are you kidding me? Shoot, I had a nice jumper, man. I had a nice jumper, but... Of course, Kawhi is just going to be the head. Okay. Hit the hook. There we go. Thank you, Wilt. Nope. Oh, what a block. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, that was supposed to be a lob, but apparently we just can't lob it. Alright, but it's a three-point game right now. Alright. Pearson with the defense. Oh, okay. I think we, we got it. We got I think we got this. Hit that. Oh, no. Get the board. Crawford from deep! Tie game! Wilt was in front of you, dude. Come on. Um. Where's squad? Yo. Yo! I couldn't get the ball back? Alright. Come on. Going right. Give it a chuck. Catch and shoot on Hall of Fame. Come oh, no. He, he missed. Can't really do much. Four. Three. Two. One. No. Nope. Get the board. Get the board. It's a Chuck Pearson gameplay. And two. Oh, whoa. Four. Hit it. Chuck Pearson! Bang! Ten seconds to go. Come on. Defense. Oh my goodness! Yo! Hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball. Hold the ball. Alright, 0.7 seconds to go. Make the first one, Chuck. No! Alright, we, we need to score one. We 100% need to score one. Green! Woo! 0.7 seconds to go. He's down to... He can tie it, so he's not getting a three off in point seven. Game! Oh my god, Chuck Pearson pretty much hit the dagger! Oh my god! That was totally unexpected! Unbelievable! Why did he not bring out Kawhi at the end? I was having trouble being on Kawhi. We had a better time on Jordan. Oh my god! What a game, and what a performance. He may have only hit four of 11 threes, but those were the mo four most important threes. I'm pretty sure three for the, like, when we were down 10 to get us back, and then that one three. Oh my god, what a game. I'm pretty sure he shot better, but this guy was off balling, plus he had Kawhi coming off, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we were six of 10 in the first. Kawhi came in this quarter, three of eight. Five of 10 right here, no Kawhi. Four quarter, one of six, but oh my goodness, he was one of six, but the one shot he made, talk about an important shot. Anyway, guys, that's that Diamond Chuck Pearson. Honestly, I think within the right hands, this card could be pretty deadly. I'm not the right hands for that. He's very comparable to that Jerome Kersey, a little bit slower. I would still recommend that Jerome Kersey over Chuck Pearson. However, if you're looking for a backup, right here, you can scoop up his Ami, Evo him to a Diamond. You can complete that easily in a day and should be a very, very good backup to your Kersey. Also remember, this card cannot speed boost off rip. You need Kerr and a shoe with plus three ball handle. Anyway, guys, what did you think of the gameplay? Honestly, with what Pearson did, um, that, that was very exciting. That was just, like one of the most fun gameplays I did so far this year. I didn't expect Pearson to hit this three at all, man. Like, I get his threes in the 90s, so I guess that kind of makes sense. He would be able to hit shots like that. That shot was insane. You know the drill, guys. Any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Chill IP. Thank you all for watching, and peace. And yes, I know it's Chuck Person.